Good morning, Mountain View. I'm Andy McCraw. I'm one of the overseers at the church. Today we're talking about Luke 31 through 43, and uh, the part that I want to kind of zero in on is the second part of this uh, passage where it talks about uh, the beggar on the side of the road, the blind beggar on the side of the road. And um, effectively in this story, you have Jesus going to Jericho, and the blind beggar's on the side of the road, and he's calling out for Jesus to come and heal him. And um, despite the crowds telling him to be quiet, telling him that he's, uh, he's a problem, he still continues to cry out. Jesus comes over to him and says, what do you want me to do for you? And he asks to be healed. And Jesus says, by his faith, he's been healed. And the man stands up and um, rejoices and follows Jesus. And it reminds me of a time when I was younger, just out of college, had moved down to, to Orange County. And um, coming out of like an intense college time where, you know, you're defining and figuring out your faith and you feel like your reliance on Jesus is really high, um, I stepped into the real world. And people are in lots of different places. We're not all this homogenous group of college students. And what I started encountering, or at least what I felt like I was encountering, was people who were doing pretty good. And by that, I mean, they were satisfied just enough that it seemed like Jesus was optional. It seemed like they didn't need Jesus. And what I see in this story is a blind beggar who recognizes his absolute dependence on Jesus, that he needs him for everything. And it's hard for us to feel that way when things are pretty good because we feel satisfied to a certain degree. And so the questions that it has me ask are, God, am I treating you as a nice to have or a need to have? And what are some things that I can do in my life to ensure that I'm recognizing my reliance on Jesus? Um, those are helpful questions for me to ask myself. And I think it really starts with number one, that I need to recognize my need. I need to recognize that I need Jesus on a daily basis. Um, number two, I need to believe that Jesus is the one who can uniquely fill that need for me. And number three, I need to act on that like the blind beggar. I need to step out and, and invite Jesus to change and move and work in my life and, um, and allow things to be different. So I hope this was encouraging to you. Um, it was for me. Have an awesome week.